hello everyone we are here to learn the second part of the nasm tutorial that is taking an input and giving an output to the console so this is what we are going to do so let's see what are the prerequisite for it basically a nasm has three section section dot data section dot bss a section dot text so the first section section dot data is a section where we initialize the variable for example int x is equal to 3 all these kind of things will go into section dot data then we get section dot bss okay section dot bss is like if you want to declare a variable int y just like that so it will create a blank variable which do not have any value so all those things goes into bss and section dot text is the actual coding part from where the coding begins okay now comes section dot data okay so when you will be writing the code in section dot data you will be seeing these few common terms db dw dd dq so what are all these d in all this term is define okay and define byte define word define double define quad so what basically it is telling that whatever we are going to write next after that will be stored in a byte wise fashion that for every character or for ev every value which you are going to store a byte would be re reserved for dw for everything you are going to write a word would be reserved that is two bytes a d d doubled word means four bytes d d d q means define quad words that is eight bytes and this few are the common ascii values which we will be using with our messages most of the time so what are they zero zero is the termination character which tells us that where basically a string is ending okay and slash zero if someone might have done c programming he must be knowing that in c a character array of when we enter a name or a character array it is terminated with slash zero which tells that the string has ended over there okay and then slash n this is the common as programming language new line okay so the 10 10 in our nasm codes give us a new line okay so it is equivalent to forward slash n and 13 which is also known as carriage return so what does it does what does it do basically like 10 slash n does both it brings your cursor to the new line and does the carriage return but it, when in nasm programming when you write 10 what happens your cursor should get over here but instead it gets just below the line which you have typed 10 so that is somewhere here just below this so but we have to write it from the but we have to write our message from beginning so we need to take this carriage this is our cursor which is also known as carriage to the beginning so that we can write from here so 13 is for that carriage return so i hope you are getting that now comes section dot bss so it is very easy to now understand resb reserving byte rhw reserving word rhd reserving double word and so on you can reserve how much space you want in section dot bss okay so now let's switch to the code and see what actually the code is like so you can use gedit it is almost a default editor nowadays in all the linux box sorry i have in nasm tutorials cd2 and we have a hello.asm okay so we will do gedit hello.asm so this is our code okay but i will be using sublime editor okay sublime editor so what is this basically over here section dot data there are three sections as i have already told you section dot data section dot bss and section dot text so first of all we will talk about this section section dot data so what it contains it has a message variable variable name message it is defined in a byte sequence and it has a message this message which is inside double quotes that is hello nasm dot dot and we also have these three ascii values that is 0 10 and 13 where 0 tells that this is the end of the string 10 gives us a new lines and 13 gives us a carriage return okay so and now we have the length what it does it does is length equate eq is equate it makes length a constant it will assign length a value and length will become a constant so what value will be assigned to length is dollar minus message dollar is the current position in the memory so after this much thing has been stored in the memory and the current position in the memory is after 13 somewhere here okay so when we write dollar minus message the length is calculated message that is from beginning dollar from here to here that is this complete length is calculated which we will be using for printing this message section dot bss as in this program we don't have anything to reserve so we are leaving bss like that only 
now comes the section dot text this portion is very crucial and this should be written with very care so we have a global underscore start underscore start is basically just like our main the linker after seeing the underscore start knows from where the actual execution should begin so this is like that and we have to make this underscore start global because there might be multiple files of same program which would be linked to this common file so this underscore start should be global so that from multiple places we can execute this underscore start okay that's not our problem right now you just need to know that this is a syntax and you need to write it so underscore start okay so this is the label underscore start and below this is our actual code so we have this actual code okay so move move actually does what it put the values of 4 inside eax okay so it is like eax is equal to 4 and you can write it like move eax comma 4 so eax is equal to 4 is equivalent to move eax comma 4 in nasm so eax has now value 4 evx has value 1 ec hacks ecx so i will tell you that move eax comma 4 so the 4 tells that whatever the task we have to do is a printing job okay so we have to print whatever it follows and evx comma 1 evx tells us the location to be print location location to print we can have multiple location where we can print example printer our desktop console so one is the standard console that is standard output device that is our console so it will be printing on console and we provide the address of the message in ecx and then we put the length of that message in edx and then we call the system call int interrupt x80 h x80 that is 80 in hexadecimal number so what it will actually do it will print the message whose address is in ecx whose length is given by adx to the standard display that is console okay then what we have over here is move eax comma 1 move ebx comma 0 and int 80h so eax comma 1 is basically an exit code okay so whenever eax has 1 it knows that whatever will follow will be an exit code okay so basically ebx comma 0 is like a return value we are our code has executed successfully so we are returning a success value 0 and so we put 0 in ebx and then we call the interrupt 80h so let's save this file and we will see how to execute this file okay so to execute this file we have command as a minus f elf 64 hello dot asm okay so this should compile successfully as there were no errors so nasm over here is our compiler name that is nasm which we have installed in the previous tutorial minus f is the file format and the file format is elf executable and linkable file format so this is like exe format in our windows so this is the de facto standard for linux machine and 64 is the machine architecture i have a 64 bit machine so i am using 64 you may have a 32 bit machine and you can use 32 so and follows what follows is a file name hello.azf and when you execute this file name after compilation a object file is created which will be named as hello.o okay so now let us link load that file ld minus s which is minus o hello space hello.o so what actually we are doing we are loading to the output file hello the object file hello.o so hello will be our executable file which we will executing okay so press enter and there is no error and now we will do a listing and you can see that hello.asm the actual code file hello.o the object file and this hello in green is our executable okay so now we can execute that hello h-e-l-l-o hello so this shall give us the hello nasm as the output screen on the output screen so this is our output and we have given over there 10 and 13 so it has given us a new line also so that's good so we are done with this code thanks for viewing